name is Emma and today we are talking about Cowspiracy and how the documentary changed the entire environmental movement. When it comes to choices and decisions, the intention we put behind them can create the world that we want to live in and also create the life that we want for ourselves. That's what we talk about here on this channel. How can we live with more intention to create the world that we all enjoy? Cowspiracy revolutionize the way that people look in the environment and the actions that they can do to help protect it. Now, for a long time, the environmental movement consisted of telling people to shower less and to just change all their light bulbs to LEDs. That's what most people understood was the best for the environment. And granted, we should be doing those things, but when it comes to the use of water, eating one less hamburger that's made out of beef helps the environment more than if you didn't shower for six months. And what's more realistic, us not showering for six months or us choosing to have a plant-based burger instead? Now, we can look at the documentary in many different facets. It primarily talks about the devastation of cows. And a lot of people say, well, they produce a lot of ethane, which goes into the environment. And yes, that is true. But a bigger part is that the waste that they create is so much higher and in so much bigger amounts than the amount of waste that humans create that it actually, only a small amount of cows, contributes to more than most of the human population. And the thing is, we have a lot more cows on the planet than we have humans. 150 billion land animals to be exact when it comes to how many animals we're bringing into this world and killing every single year 150 billion land animals when it comes to all of the different movements going on in the world eating animals is a big part of every single one of them the disparity in hunger in water availability in the way that people live their lives, in the ocean acidification, deforestation, the amount of wildfires, all of this connects back to animal agriculture and even the cause of pandemics. Now, Cowspiracy didn't go into all of those details, but it did inspire me to really look into what are we doing when we are eating animals and how are we affecting not only ourselves, but the world that we live in. Cowspiracy has inspired many people to choose to keep animals off their plates and at the end has shown people the mass amount of food that we waste. We are giving all of these animals a lot of food and a lot of water, and these animals will die from a great variety of things, including cancer and diseases, but they will never die from hunger or lack of water, where we have a child dying from hunger every 20 seconds, 24 seconds and we have a billion people who do not have access to clean water yet we are able to feed and give water to 150 billion land animals it really pulls back that curtain in that taboo subject of well we can't talk about the food that we eat that is just something that we've inherited and not taught thought twice about but look at your own life is there things that you grew up doing that you no longer do because you thought about it and you're like, mm, maybe this isn't what I want to do. And if so, consider the thing that you do three times a day. How is it affecting your own body, the bodies of the people that you love, and the world itself? Cowspiracy asks us to look behind that curtain that we've always told should never be opened, that we were told didn't even exist. We didn't know there was a curtain because we didn't understand that there was something that was being hidden from us. Very few people understand the amount of resources that go into a single animal, let alone the amount of resources that go into 150 billion. 50% 50 of usable land is used to grow animals and to grow the food that we feed them. We are actively dumping huge amounts of waste that are creating ocean dead zones where wild animals can no longer live. We have destroyed vast amount of forests to grow cows so we can have hamburgers. And when we now live in a world where so much is available to eat outside of meat, why are we continuing to do this? If every person in the world lives like an American does, the standard American, we would need four Earths, but we don't get four Earths. We don't even get to try again. We only have right now, this moment, and we can choose 
what to do next. We can choose to accept that this was our past, look at the information and decide to move forward. Or we can feel distraught and brought down and not really understand where we're going next. The choice is yours. Watch the documentary, it is available readily all over and I will link a few more details about Cowspiracy. There is a counter of how many animals are killed every minute and every year and there's so much information out there. It is Veganuary. People are deciding to go vegan for the animals, for themselves, for the planet, but mostly people are deciding to look at information that they've been told didn't exist for far too long. This is our world. It is our choices that will create it or destroy it. And where do you want to be on the side of history in 20 years from now when they ask us, what did you do? And at the end of the day, it doesn't have to all happen overnight. Nobody is blaming anyone. We all came from the same place, but where we choose to go next is up to every single one of us. The rest of this month, I will be posting different videos about veganism and how it intersects with a great deal of other social justice movements. Hope you join me on that journey as we go through January, as we start 2021 with more intention, with better choices, and with the understanding that we can and we will create the world that we want to see if we do it together. Thank you for joining me today, and I really do hope to see you soon. But until then, I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you.